Okay, the hanger is open. Wish I had a coffee pot on, but I don't. Okay, engine's been mounted, as you saw from the last video. And uh, welcome back to the hangar. And uh, yeah, so today I'm going to start working on uh, hooking up all the stuff to the engine. You know, fuel lines, electrical, mount the exhaust, mount the carbs, all that kind of stuff. So um, thanks for uh, following along and I uh, appreciate it. Oh, somebody just landed on the runway. Squirrel! Oh, look at that. Well, can't look at that because by the time I spin the camera around, he's going to be taxing. But anyways, uh, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you like what you see. So, uh, on to further work. And uh, hopefully you don't mind the little artistic introduction that I did here. I'm practicing on how to do edits and all that kind of stuff for that. So if some of you guys don't like it, just skip ahead of it. You know, that's you can you can do that. You can click and skip ahead. So, okay, Peter Patter, let's get at her. That's the nut for the positive voltage going into the starter. I don't like it out here. I'm going to put it on the inside. I'm spin that around. It's like change of plans. Um, pardon me while I have this. There we go. Um, I had to take the starter motor off again. Well, I didn't have to. I'm just finding it easier if I did. Because you see, the spark plug wires need to be routed and secured here and here. And it's easier to do that without a starter motor here. Yeah, I love doing things twice, or three times even. So much so that I look forward to it. Okay, um, so note to yourself, if you're reassembling these engines, put the starter motor on after you've routed the ignition coil wires. That's a little tip there. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Okay, it kind of looked like um, I didn't do anything, but I did, quite a bit actually. Let's, let me show you. Uh, I put the shroud on over here, which uh, of course directs the airflow. Oh, I also put the, the uh, fan guard in place. Air comes in, blows across the engine. This metal piece here makes sure that the air flows across the engine and then down. Okay, so the hot air comes out over here. So that's in place. The ignition wires are now secure and in place. And I'm going to make some slight modifications to it. Um, you see this piece of wrap here, this plastic, so that it doesn't rub against there? Well, I'm going to add a little bit more to these ignition wires, just because I don't want them to be rubbing anywhere. Okay. Likewise, you can see the oil injection lines had them on the old ones, and I put them on the new ones, and, uh, you know, that stuff is so cheap, I'm going to go buy a little bit more, and just make it cover about that much room. Just, why not? Um, of course, again, starter mortar is on, as you can see. Let's spin you so you can see. Now, um, difficulty, things that I have to change that I discovered while I'm doing this. These fancy plugs that I bought, 
Nice. Looks great. They don't go together. And there's a reason for that. I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to try it anyways. If you can see, you see the pins, the male portion of the plugs are inside those little holes. Do you notice that they're not in the center of the holes? Or, well, two of them seem to be and two don't. Well, that's a problem because they need to line up and go into those. And now, also, you notice those don't stay centered. They're off to the side. I um, opened up the case of, uh, of these, because uh, I bought a whole kit of them. And um, essentially, I bought crap. Um, I bought them off Amazon. They said automotive quality, blah, blah, blah. It looked okay, but once you put them together, you find out that the fit is extremely inferior. So, lesson learned. Uh, it didn't cost a lot of money. I think it was like a $40 kit or something on Amazon. I sh that should have been my first indication that things can be crap. But I'm going to cut them off, remove them, and redo it. Get the camera. So these are out coming off. They're going to be redone with a better quality one. And this time I'm going to go to um, one of my electronics wholesalers who has lots of selection of these things. They're going to be a little more expensive. But I don't care. And uh, in case you're wondering, uh, I, I do shop at, um, at uh, three different wholesalers retailers, what do you want to call it? I like no, they're more like retailers for electronic components. And um, New Work is one of them, uh, DigiKey is the other, and Mauser. Between those three, they have everything you could ever possibly want. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link down in the description on this video uh, of those three um, suppliers. I'm not going to pay for it. Don't, most people go, oh, it's He's making money on it. No. I'm just, this is where I've been buying components, you know, um, electronic components, transistors, and that kind of stuff. That's where I've been buying from these three locations for quite a long time. And they're very convenient. I just click and the orders come in. I usually, get, when I order something, uh, it's usually on my doorstep within less than a week. If I order something on a Monday before Friday, usually Thursday, it's on my doorstep. I don't know how they do that. But they're really good. So, I'm going to scour their websites and look for some connectors for this engine that are of better quality. Uh, either made by Tyco or by Amp or one of those more reputable companies that you know the tolerances are tight and the, uh, the fit is going to be good. These, on the other hand, um, they look good but they're shit. So, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to start doing my, fuel, my plumbing for my fuel. I'm going to mount the exhaust. I'm going to mount the carbs and that kind of stuff. So, it's not going to be a wasted day here. It just means that I won't get the electrical plugged in. That's all I have to do, plug it in. But I'm going to get new plugs. So, okay, that's, uh, that's another quick shot over here. I wonder how this video is going to turn out. We'll find out. All right, pitter patter. Let's get at her. throttle cable. Carbs are mounted. Choke cable.
springs. Time to consult a drawing on how the springs are supposed to go on. Okay, as you can tell, I'm hot and sweaty. It's kind of warm out. And um, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to put the camera down here. Yeah, it's uh, 9 30 in the evening. And uh, let's take a look what I've got done. Pardon the shaky camera work from the minimum wage cameraman. You know, I, I, I have paid dues to Actra. I have. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll tell you all about me working on movie sets. Because um, um, I have worked on some movie sets. And, uh... But that's for a different time. So, what we've got here, we've got the springs on. This is very loose, this plate. It's not tightened up. It's on here loose right now. Um, I'm just going to verify which way the springs go, that kind of stuff, because it kind of looks wonky to me right now. And um, the taps don't really line up. I thought they would, but they don't. So, that's done. I still have to put my exhaust gas temperature probes back in, hook the ground line, change the spark plugs, plug in the spark plug, I got a lot to do. Especially changing those um, plugs, wire plugs that I put on, which ended up being garbage. So, uh, oh god, somebody blocked my way with this thing. Oh, but why is my airplane so... There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's take a look here. Carbs are on. Starter motors on. Throttle cable and choke cable is done. Almost. Um, I didn't hook up the cable to the oil injection. Um, first off, the uh, threads on this were all buggered. So I had to get a very small pin file and, and clean them up, that kind of stuff, so I could uh, turn these nuts properly. And this requires a snap ring and a washer, and I can't find that anywhere. So I'm going to measure that, and I'm going to go to myself uh, some snap rings and some washers so I can affix that properly to the oil injection and then start uh, well, carrying on. But uh, it's late, and uh, I got a late start today, so um, unfortunately, uh, I, well, I was in the air again today, so um, uh, yeah, I didn't, we weren't finished uh, until about 4 o'clock this afternoon, didn't get here till about 6, so I've only been here about three and a half hours, but um, already, <laughs> I know I got to do some, um, well, do some work with those uh, wiring plugs. Really disappointed in that. Really disappointed. So anyways, thanks a lot for following along. Appreciate it. Um, and um, I will try to keep this uh, update short as well because, um, you know, it's plugging along slowly. How's the progress going? Good. It's going good. And um, as I come across uh, some faults, that kind of stuff, I'll let you know. Oh, by the way, um, 
yeah, that uh, that anti seize uh, that I uh, showed you. The uh, manual, the Rotex uh, maintenance manual, does say that you should lubricate those joints uh, on the exhaust system with a high temperature anti seize. And the copper anti seize is a very high temperature; it'll it'll withstand the high temperature of the exhaust system. That's so that those those points it'll it'll always move a little bit because if they don't move, they're, if they're solid or they get rusted together. Uh, they say that um, that's when you start getting cracks in the exhaust system because everything's so rigid. So it's got to have some flex to it. That's why you got springs on it for crying out loud. So uh, the anti seize is uh, is a lubricant, and uh, that's an annual. Uh, every year, uh, you uh, should uh, inspect that, uh, uh, take the springs off, buy a new set of springs. They're cheap, and um, uh, clean it. Fresh anti seize. Put it back together again. New springs, new safety wire, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to follow that uh, protocol for my annuals. And um, okay, so that's it. That's it for today. Uh, thanks a lot for, for uh, following along. And uh, we shall see you in the hangar again um, with some more great adventures. So, God bless and keep your stick on the ice. Bye bye for now. <laughs>